Hey guys, CDTV the G here, and the G, of course, stands for Gore. E Gore. See that that smooth transition into the video. And today, as as I'm 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 assuming you've guessed, we're gonna be reacting to Igor, the new album by Tyler the Creator. Now I'm just I'm super excited for this man. I I, I remember when Flower Boy dropped in 2017, and I absolutely loved it. And um, Tyler the Creator is just someone who seems to be getting better with every single album that he releases. Now, Wolf is still my favorite album from Tyler, but I do think Flower Boy is like his most well-crafted one. And maybe this one will be able to take that throne. I haven't listened to any of the snippets that came out before the album did that Tyler posted on Twitter. Um, I haven't listened to anything because I want everything to be just completely fresh for the album. I'm also interested to see if there's anything kind of deeper to this album, you know, who this whole Igor character is or what he's supposed to represent. So let's jump right into it. Track number one, Igor's theme. Mm. Those Tyler synths. He always has a way to craft these really like ugly synths into something beautiful. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that beat is nice, man. This feels kind of wolf-like to me. That chorus is giving me the feeling that this track is probably best for, uh, you know, driving to... Ooh. You guys probably know if you've watched a couple of my videos, I've said it before. I'm a sucker for sense. And Tyler, the creator, knows how to play with them perfectly. Whoo! Shit, that outro was amazing. That instrumental outro. Man, what am I in for? What am I in for? This is interesting. I feel like this is definitely going to be an album that I'm not going to have a whole lot to say about the lyrics. You know, I feel like this is just my, my first impression, but I feel like a lot of the album is going to be kind of like this, where it's mainly production and vibe focused. And maybe like saying a lot by saying less, you know? Definitely just got the feeling that this was music to drive around to. Driving around in the sunset type of music. Right around town they go and feel this one was the chorus and that's what I feel like this song is best for. You can already tell he's, he's taken another step up with his production. The crashing drums, the way he worked that really kind of like buzzing synth into everything and oh, all the layers to it, man. Mm. It does seem like this is going to be another album with just that that summer feeling to it And that's definitely what I got from this track. So let's move on to the next one. Let's let's keep going track number two earthquake This is just making me happy man who would have thought that the man that made goblin can make shit that sounds like this. Riding around seems to be a theme so far. This is the second chorus on the album that's had the phrase riding around involved in the hook. Is that car too? Did he say like was that was that a Woe Vicky reference? Man. It's very interesting hearing Carty on a track like this though. All right, we got a little bit more of a kind of love song vibe on this one. This is reminding me of uh, Flower Boy in terms of the, the kind of overarching theme as well so far because Flower Boy had very much the theme of kind of like driving and this one is mentioning, you know, riding around a lot and, and, and driving as well. Again, the production was just incredibly solid. And yeah, again, it feels like this is another track that feels a bit like it's combining elements from Tyler's previous project. It feels a bit, you know, cherry bombish with some Flower Boy elements to it. Really nice. It's an experience, man. You just got to feel this music. So let's move on to track number three, I think. Four, 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 four. Ooh. I don't know what I'm going, but I know what I'm showing. Feelings, that's what I'm going. What the fuck is your motive? That's what's done. Fucking up my ambiance. Fuck, say, get it. Okay, wait a minute. I drip that shit, I ain't on. Okay. 
Tyler. It just feels like so much goddamn work went into these tracks. Now this is interesting because I could actually see this album telling a bit of a story, maybe like a, a love story type of thing. But if that is the case, I don't see this love story going well because this track, uh, Tyler says, I think I'm falling in love. Track number 11 is called I Don't Love You Anymore. So I don't know if there's a love story here. I don't think it's going to end well. But yeah, I think this is the first time we got an actual like verse from uh, Tyler on this project. Again, this track felt like the main focus was kind of the, the production and the vibe of it because I don't know if it's just my speakers but Tyler's vocals sounded a little bit quiet compared to the instrumental. If there is a kind of like love story to this album that kind of goes on throughout it this seems you know very much like the the start of a romance because you know Tyler isn't quite sure about his emotions he's like I think I'm falling in love but I, I don't know, like it's not a hundred percent certainty, it's I think I'm falling in love. I think I'm falling in love with this album man and we're three tracks in, three out of twelve we're a quarter of the way through and I'm already just like absorbed in this. I don't even know what to say, man. That, sh that shit was just beautiful, man. All right, let's move on to track number four. Exactly what you run from, you end up chasing. Uh, and this is 15 seconds long. Exactly what you run from, you end up chasing. Like you can't avoid chasing it and just like trying, giving it everything that you can. That was it, bro. That was, that was the most lyrically solid track on the album, the best production. Lovely stuff. In 15 seconds, Tyler created a whole world there. And I guess that just kind of acts as a little interlude to kind of bridge into the next track, which is track number five, Running Out of Time. Tyler is infatuated with this person or whatever he's talking it might not even be a person I feel like I'm about to be transported to another planet man another amazing track that just feels like it continues that whole love theme and I, I i don't know it sounds like tyler's in a bit of a tricky place with this one you know i can't tell if it's supposed to be like someone that he's in a relationship with and um the relationship is failing or if this is him you know it's, it's a one-sided thing where like tyler is into this girl or whatever this girl represents it might not even be a person you know rappers always talking metaphors for, for just now i'm gonna assume it's a person maybe it's a one-sided thing where tyler loves this person and uh, they're not sure if they love him back. He feels like that that chance to make things work is like slipping out of his grasp. In that way, I guess this could kind of relate to I Think, you know? I Think was Tyler catching feelings, and now track number five is Tyler wanting this person to feel the same way he does, and, and feeling like he can't do it. All right, let's go to the next one. I remember, I, kn I know Tyler dropped a snippet of this one because I seen the title floating around, but again, I didn't listen to it. Track number six, No Magic Wand. <laughs> Psychotic Tyler back. Oh shit, this is get this is twisted Tyler right now. Assuming my interpretation of the album was right in some way, it seems like Tyler is in a relationship with someone now. Basically, Tyler is really upset in this song that this person that he's with keeps thinking about their ex. So pretty much here he's just saying he's gonna kill the ex to to get rid of that that barrier there. And if the person that Tyler is with chooses to side with the ex then he's gonna kill them both and it works with the sound of the track as well because like instrumentally it's also the roughest sounding track on the album he's spitting on this one When that one started, that was my least favorite sounding track on the album at first because for the first like two verses, I think, 
I felt like the, the vocals didn't really mesh that well with the instrumental, and not really in a way that was intriguing, just in a way that I felt like didn't work, but as the track went on, I feel like it just improved, and it improved, and it started sounding better. And then we got to that last verse, where it was just Tyler with this kind of high-pitched voice rapping on this just brutal, hard-hitting instrumental. It definitely, it just turned into another track that I absolutely love the sound of. It definitely seems like there's a consistent concept that runs throughout this project. I'm getting excited talking about this, man. This album is taking me to another planet, I swear to God. Right, let's, let's move on to track number seven. Let's keep it going, let's keep this strong streak going. We're, we're halfway through the album and I've loved it all. Track number seven, A Boy Is A Gun. <laughs> Take your hoods off, why you hide your face from me? Make your fucking mind up, I am sick of waiting patiently. This is like a complete 180 from the last track as well. This is like oh, you a million you times softer. Oh, faking your mad. Yeah, I'm brushing it off. Cause this Parker is calm. You're my favorite garçon, don't leave. Stay I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it to his friends. The iron kids, I don't wanna see you again. This love story is not gonna end well, man. It's not gonna end well. It seems like there's already a bunch of problems here. Tyler or Igor doesn't seem very excited about it anymore. It's a very intriguing album, man. It's got me like just fully absorbed into it, fully focused on it, man. We got some, we got some bars from Tyler on here. Cause this parka is calm, you're my favorite garçon. Obviously a reference to the clothing brand Calm the Garçon, but also like garçon means uh, boy in french i think so you're my favorite boy obviously referring to the the love interest here man i like this i like this i feel like there's a lot to put together with it there's just so many reasons to replay this album there's so many reasons this has insane replay value man so far it's my favorite album of the year there's something special man track number eight puppet i want to talk i want to call you and talk i want to walk to your front door and out after i stop my vehicle drive to your city because we live in our park i want your company i need your company i want you to walk for me Oh my god. Whoever this Igor person is, he seems really controlled by love and his emotions towards that. Is that Kanye? Now that I feel like this album has a very consistent concept to it, I, I, I need to, on my next listen, I need to focus on how the, the features kind of fit into it and what part they play in the story if they do. Maybe on the next track, uh, Tyler will be snapping out of this kind of state where his emotions are completely controlling his, his actions and the stuff he does. Because uh, this track ended with that, that kind of, uh, another clip from the same bit used from exactly what you run from you end up chasing where he says, but at some point, you come to your senses. Let's move on to track number nine, What's Good. a theme with the color green on here as well. Tyler says on this track, green hair, angels around me. Uh, there was another track earlier on where he said something about green eyes. I don't know. There seems to be like little, just like small, uh, consistent themes throughout this, you know? I have yeah. nobody to cheat on like this. Yeah. I don't know, repeat, I reset. Nap, kick back like I was eyes shut. Loud sound, no scratch. Motherfuckers really thought I'd die. And they go take a How can this man make some of the most, like, beautiful music of the year and then make some of the kind of, like, creepiest sounding but also beautiful at the same time music of the year the first half of this track definitely had like the coldest sound to it on the album so far it had this kind of dark almost like serial killerish sound to it with the, the lyrics and the instrumental that's just the vibe it gave off now if i'm talking about my interpretation of the album again i kind of took this first part to be tyler um after he killed his love interests ex because there's a there's very much a theme of uh the cops here and, and not getting caught by the cops. And then that might be why in the second half he's saying, I see the light, you know? Now that the, the love interest's ex is out of the picture, Igor feels a lot of relief. But then is that consistent with the track where he said he, he doesn't love the 
that the person that he's talking about anymore i don't know well next up we have a uh, track number 10 which of course continues the theme of tyler the creator albums having track number 10 as um, a multiple part song gone gone slash thank you <laughs> Who else makes music that sounds like this right now, man? In the general, like, hip-hop community, who makes music like this? Okay, now we're moving into thank you. Way shorter than uh, Gone Gone. Gone Gone was like four and a half minutes. Ooh. Okay, so that seems like it's definitely confirming that this relationship is, is finished. Whatever this relationship is, it's, it's not... Um, they, they've split off from it. It doesn't seem like Tyler seems like bitter about it or anything though because he's saying, you know, thank you for the love. I, I think that was probably one of the, the slowest moving tracks on the album. It worked as that, but it's probably my least favorite song so far. That verse was probably one of my favorite verses on the album. The last one on Gone Gone because it seemed like there was a lot packed into it and it felt like it explained a lot and, and there was some really good like wordplay there and yeah in terms of the the story here that's pretty much the relationship over at this point they've broken up all right let's uh move on to the second last track on the album i don't love you anymore I love how consistent this is produ production wise as well. It all follows a very similar theme without getting monotonous, it's so consistent. This is why I love listening to producer rappers so much because they can fully craft 100% what they want their vision to be like for the album. No matter what the specifics of it are, this very clearly tells a love story from start to finish, you know? The beginnings of a relationship all the way up to the end and how you feel afterwards. And Tyler has managed to perfectly craft that story because he knows exactly what he wants all the beats to sound like, what he wants them, the feelings he wants them to give off. It's just beautiful, man. This album is lovely. Maybe I was trying to focus too much on, on the specifics and this album is just generally a lot of the feelings people feel when they're in love and it was kind of summarizing all those feelings into tracks and there's definitely a lot of uh relatable stuff on here this album is one of a kind man this is this is phenomenal last song track number 12 are we still friends oh my god <laughs> after a relationship you know the the are we still friends thing is the is the most complicated part of it because both people kind of have to look at it in the same way or else there can be a lot of things that are misinterpreted just something that doesn't always work yes tyler i don't want to end the season on a bad episode that was nice Yeah. Oh my god, Tyler closing out this album like a goddamn rock star, man. That's album of the year so far. There's no competition, that is album of the year so far. So yeah, that track, it covered that feeling of uh, after a relationship, still wanting to remain friends with the other person and not fully wanting your relationship with them to die out. You just want to be friends with them rather than together. But there's a lot of stuff that can make that difficult, you know? If the other person still feels bitter, or, or they feel like you're just friends with them because you want something, that can make things not work. That was, that was a great way to end this. Just the most incredible album i've listened to this year i'll be interested to see what people's interpretations of this album are because it very clearly tells a start to finish love story but maybe it's not about a person you know there's a million things you can interpret it as that that was a great song so let, let's not waste any more time let's get straight to talking about my overall thoughts 
on Igor by Tyler the Creator. Like I said, that is a hundred percent, easily, no question, album of the year so far. Album of the year 2019, give it to this man. He's got it so far. At first, I did kind of compare this to other Tyler albums, you know, saying that it sounded very much like a mix of Cherry Bomb and Flower Boy. And it is kind of like a mix of those two albums, but it takes them and completely makes it its own thing. Like, this is a standalone album, you know? Igor is its own thing. It's not like a retread of past Tyler the Creator albums or anything like that. It's just its own phenomenal piece of art man god damn as i said like tyler the creator is always improving and always just making better overall music uh as a producer he was phenomenal on here all the tracks stayed very consistent to a specific type of sound without getting monotonous or repetitive everything sounded different while still sounding very similar vocally this is I, I, I'm assuming the Tyler album with the least rapping on it so far. Uh, I was not expecting to hear him sing so much and it made for a really interesting and unique sound. Let's let's see, what were my favorite tracks from this? It's so hard to pick because I loved almost everything on here. It'd be a lot easier. Let's start with my least favorite tracks. And when I say least favorite, these tracks are still really, really good. It's just ones that I didn't like as much as the others. What were my least favorite tracks? Were there any? <laughs> um, I guess Gone Gone and Slash Thank You. And it's not even a bad song. Favorite tracks, that's hard to pick as well. This was so well put together. Just a phenomenal album. I'm, I'm lost for words, man. I like it so much that I don't even know what to say about it. This album was amazing, basically. And it's my favorite one in this year so far. Fantastic stuff. My favorite reaction video that I've recorded this entire year because it didn't even feel like I was recording I, I just got completely sucked into the album I don't even know how much time has passed because I'm, I'm just fully stuck into this. I've been recording for One and a half hours. It, it doesn't feel like it at all. So what did you guys think about Igor? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know what your kind of interpretation of the concept was. Let me know your favorite tracks and least favorite tracks. I couldn't even pick my own for this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you can click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos similar to this one. Oh, I feel so good right now. What a great start. This is the first thing I've done today and it's a beautiful start to my day. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you all in the next one and this is CDTV the G. Signing out.